Interview. Okay, this is Jane Douglas for Gamespot UK. I'm here with uh, Gabe Amatangelo from Bioware to talk about war zones in uh, the Old Republic. So tell us about what you do at Bioware and uh, what you're showing here today at the EA Showcase. Uh, lead PvP designer. We're showing our first war zone, the Alderaan War Zone, uh, which takes place on Alderaan. It's an 8v8 match. It is a match against, it's team versus team, Republic versus Empire players. And it takes place fighting over, you got two drop ships that come in and they're fighting over a, a massive planetary cannon, like a de defensive type cannon that can blow Imperial ships or, or, or capital ships rather out of the sky. And so it's really important for them to get control of this pivotal weapon. And you said you're not settled on the, the size of the, uh, the, the the teams at the moment? Well, it's currently 8v8, but as testing and time goes on, that may that may fluctuate, but it's currently set at 8v8. Okay, and you've, you, you've spoken today about how you're trying to kind of coat the gamey aspects of, of sure, the MMO. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well, we wanted to, I mean, this, this war zone and all the PvP experience is developed with this sort of Bioware and Star Wars immersive storytelling philosophy at its core. And how does that apply to PvP? Well, there's certain aspects, kind of staples that are typical to PvP that are very gamey, like banners, flags, points, that kind of stuff. So we took those elements and we kind of gave it a visceral coat of paint, as you were saying. And so in this war zone, basically, as you're coming from your dropship, instead of you know standing by a banner and waiting for a, a, a meter to tick or a pip to tick on a meter, you're going to be taking control of anti-air defense kind of cannons and get them to turn at the ship and try to blow the ship down. So instead of accumulating points, you'll be seeing damage on your enemy ship. You'll be hearing the reverberation, you know, the impact on the hull. You'll be seeing fire, smoke, debris, that kind of stuff. And you know you won, not when you get to an arbitrary point threshold, but when the ship goes down. When it destroys for a massive gratuitous explosion, you know you've won at that point. Awesome. And you, you mentioned rewards a little bit so that you can have tokens and gear and experience maybe from experience. these? Experience, yeah, yeah. We're going to be given experience for player versus player combat uh, in the war zones. And you'll get some tokens that you can spend on uh, player versus player gear. So you'll be able to know who the, you know, the, 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 the really good player versus player co combatants are. <laughs> okay, great. And you said you've got a you've got a queuing system, so you can get into the war zone from anywhere on the map. Yeah, yeah. At a very early level, players are going to be able to queue for this, and they'll be able to access it from anywhere. Uh, whatever they're doing, they'll be able to pop in and pop back out, back to where they were afterwards. So it's a good sort of you know break from whatever action you're doing. You can pop in at any time and fight alongside your players, or alongside your friends, or against other friends, etc. And you've got like a matchmaking, presumably like kind of balancing system as well. What kind of criteria does that work on? Well, we're in the months to come, we'll be talking about more of the PvP features, including more details on that. But yes, it's going to be a matchmaking system that at its core uh, is going to promote rapid entry and fun battles. Great. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah. Cheers.